What's going on guys, Just now right here, so in today's video I'm presenting you the current situation of the jailbreak for iOS 11 and iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2 and so on as of October 2017. So we're going to discuss about some of the things I have already discussed in my previous videos and also some news. Now some of my viewers may already know about some of these things so keep that in mind. Anyways before we begin do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel to be the first who gets the news. Now. Um, something important had happened lately and um, that's pretty massive for the jailbreaking. I made a video about that a couple days ago which was the fact that Apple open sourced the iOS kernel. Now we've got a lot of information about this that is a massive leak or that was done on purpose by Apple to actually make security researchers to you know send more vulnerabilities to Apple so that they can patch it but at the end of the day uh, the iOS kernel itself is not complete and according to Jonathan Levender a couple components are still missing for example some kernel extensions and so on uh, so Apple did not really open source completely everything. Anyways, it's still something important and if you want to watch this video go ahead, the link is in the description down below if you want to learn more. But I do believe that Apple open sourcing the um, XNU kernel for the iOS is something important. Now the XNU kernel has been around, you know, has been open sourced for quite a while, in fact for years now, but not the ARM part of it, which is the pretty much the iOS, which splits into the normal ARM and ARM64. So pretty much 32-bit and 64-bit. Now it's available and you can find it in here on the official um, Apple GitHub on Darwin XNU repo, which is something important. Now I've been talking with a lot of people about this and how important this might be for the jailbreaking community and so on. And a lot of people told me that although it is uh, important and although it provides a lot of um, important stuff to the researchers so that they do not have to reverse engineer absolutely anything, it's still not a complete solution for jailbreaking and stuff like that. It's just not making a jailbreak to appear out of the blue. So it's something you should keep in mind. And now there is a problem with the iOS 11. According to GSM Arena, you can see today Apple has seeded the iOS 11.0.2, about which I'm going to make a review tomorrow. They uh, went ahead and fixed a couple bugs, for example, uh, photos disappearing and stuff like that, which is quite nice. But with all these new features in the iOS 11, a lot of people are asking me whether they should stay on um, iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2, 10.3.1 and so on, or simply, you know, go ahead and update to iOS 11. Because iOS 11 itself is quite nice, it's a novelty for the moment and it provides quite some new features and a lot of people just got enough of waiting for a jailbreak to come. Now, it's very important to know that iOS 11 itself might be a target for jailbreakers at some point. And um, a lot of people are saying that on the forums and communities and so on. They say go ahead and update to iOS 11 because a lot of hackers will probably jailbreak the iOS 11. Now, that's probably not true. And uh, although I do think that iOS 11 will be a target for jailbreakers at some point, the iOS 10.3.3 and 10.3.2 and lower look like a safer option for the moment for the uh, jailbreak community. And the reason for that is that if a jailbreak for iOS 11 appears, you can simply update to iOS 11. But um, if you are already on iOS 11 and a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2 and so on appears, uh, when iOS 10.3.3 will no longer be signed, you will not be able to get back again to it. And that's that's the problem. So um, going ahead in here, we're going to talk a little bit more about the ZIVA or Zimperium's iOS video and audio kernel exploit. Now this has been posted on August 23rd by uh, Adam Donenfield and to this point it hasn't been used in any jailbreak successfully. And the problem is that there are pretty much no developers to take it and to, to work with it and uh, those who are able to do it probably wouldn't do it anyways because it's not their interest. So there is absolutely no jailbreak taking advantage of the Zimperium's uh, ZIVA exploit which is something bad. Now uh, Zimperium's exploit works on iOS 10.3.1 and earlier which is pretty much good because if combined with other exploits for example the triple fetch and um, probably a kernel patch protection bypass, a KPP bypass, 
it will of course render a, an iOS 10.3.1, 10 10.3, 10.2.1 jailbreak, but apparently nobody is willing to do it for the moment, so it remains unused and uh, yeah, that, that's pretty bad because you know newer versions appear and uh, by the time iOS um, 11.2 is out, because it's currently in developer beta, probably the ZIVA exploit would be too old to be used by jailbreakers anyways, because a lot of people would be updating. So something important in here, do not update, do not lose your hope. I know you want a jailbreak and um, I know you've been unjailbroken for quite a while, but do not go to iOS 11. I know it's tempting. And I also updated one of my development devices to the iOS 11 just to, you know, see how it goes and see how is the speed and so on. But for the moment, there are a lot of problems with iOS 11. The battery life is quite bad, even on iOS 11.0.2, which is quite bad. And there are still a lot of glitches. And uh, yeah, the probably the, the worst part of iOS 11 is the battery life. It's, it's like half of the iOS 10.3.3's battery life, which is not good. So that's the problem. Hopefully Apple releasing the uh, Darwin kernel for iOS uh, as open source would open the uh, doors for more jailbreakers to come and you know use this, um, this information that's now open source into building newer jailbreaks. But it's less probable that we're going to see a jailbreak in the near future, but of course we never know. About Pangu, Taiji and even about KinLab, there's nothing new. Uh, they, they simply gone uh, into the stealth mode and they're not saying anything, they're not publishing anything for the moment. So there's absolutely no news about any jailbreak coming. And speaking about the jailbreak from KinLab, I talked with Lion Chen, the, uh, the guy who designed the jailbreak, who created a jailbreak, and he assured me that they're not planning to release it for the moment. So it's pretty bad, but yeah, it's, it's their own jailbreak, so we cannot really force them, can we? Yeah, that's pretty much it guys, I really wanted to, to keep you updated as of October, what's going on, what's new. Probably the biggest news are coming from Apple with their open sourcing of the um, iOS kernel, that's something that never happened before, and I also have an entire video on that as I mentioned before, so just go ahead and check it out, it's quite interesting. And uh, yeah, hopefully something good will come from this because there's a lot of information that hackers can use that simply wasn't here, simply wasn't available up until this point. But yeah, for the moment, do not update, save your blobs for the iOS 10.3.3 while still signed. And uh, till the next time, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow. peace out.